Hello, everyone. This is Asa Laveau, uh, icon architect, founder of The Wealth Spa. If you are not clear what it is that I do, I catapult audacious entrepreneurs toward their next million by providing business automations, brand clarity, and bankable deliverables. Uh, not only have I created The Wealth Spa, but I am also the person producing and presenting the Icon Bootcamp. Yes, the Icon Bootcamp. Uh, you go to www.iconbootcamp.co to register and learn more. And luckily, thankfully, gratefully, we have someone who is helping us make sure that all of that is possible. And the person that we have today that I would love to introduce you to that is definitely supporting me in more ways than one is Kathy Kay of the Best Sellers Guild. Uh, before I even truly bring Kathy on, let me just say this. I've known Kathy for years <clears throat> and I do mean years. So this isn't just someone I just met um, that has chosen to support the Icon Bootcamp, uh, the Wealth Spa, and all of our Icon-ness. Um, she's been there for quite some time. She's been there since I have pivoted. Um, and she's dope. She's really dope. And because she is so dope, I believe you need to meet her and find out more about her as well as the Best Sellers Guild. So without further ado, hello, Kathy. Thank you for having me. <laughs> of course. So before we get too deep into it, please let the world know what is the Best Sellers Guild and who should be aware and not just aware, but take action to being a part of the Best Sellers Guild. The Best Sellers Guild is a free Facebook group that's been around since 2015, uh, a little bit after you and I met. We go that far back. Um, and it's a group of over 3,400 authors who are supportive and somewhere in their journey of bestsellers. Some of them are three times silver medal champions, Olympians. Um, that are in the process of writing. Some of them are uh, famous hypnotherapists that are on book number 13. Uh, and some of them are stay-at-home moms who are working on the process. But it's a great group of supportive, wonderful authors. And I founded that group. I own uh, BSG Publishing. Our specialty is bestsellers. We publish best-selling books. I help people write, publish, market those books to bestseller guaranteed, or I do it for them. 100% guarantee, 100% success rate. And I'm proud to say we have almost 700 best-selling authors now. So, yeah, but the, but the Best Sellers Guild is the place to get connected and get started. Like, I don't care what part of the process you're in, or if we're publishing your book or not. It is a great place to hang out for authors, period. So you're saying what, as, as long as you have an idea <clears throat> that you are clear, you want to make that into a book, whether you have no words, whether you have all the words, whether you've actually published, but have yet to hit bestseller status. And let's just say you've hit bestseller status and you just like to be in community where there are other bestsellers located. The Best Sellers Guild is where they can be. Is that accurate? That is absolutely true. Absolutely true. And the thing is, is, even if you don't have an idea, like you just know you're supposed to write a book or you want to stand out in the crowd, you've seen other people write books and you're like, I don't know, maybe I can or whatever. Like, that's what we're all about. I inspire people. I help them get clarity. I help them find the words. Like I'm a think outside the box kind of gal. I just need to get the brilliance out of your head so that we can get it on paper and I can make it a best-selling book. Sometimes that's in the form of blog posts or uh, an interview, or uh, I can take a recording somebody did on stage or an interview like this. Like I just need the information so that we can turn it into a book. Like, exactly. Mm -hmm. So what I, of course, we both know, we're both authors, we both understand what that world is like. We definitely understand all the struggle points. So mm -hmm. 
The times when things aren't flowing from your brain to your pen effort, as effortlessly as you would like. The times when you feel like, who am I? Who do I think I am trying to call myself an author? Like before you actually start writing, but you tell somebody like, I'm writing a book. <laughs> like all of that. So of course we understand the parts that don't feel yummy. I would like to talk about the parts that do. So as you're walking your clients through that bestseller process, what, what lights you up as a result of seeing their journey? Ooh, I love that question. Not many people ask me that, but I, oh, I love that question. Well, I'm addicted to joy, so I ask those <laughs> kinds of questions. So my favorite, my favorite, favorite is actually launch day. Because the day before, all the authors, every last single one of them, one who has no following at all whatsoever, and they're afraid that their book's not going to be a bestseller, or somebody who's famous, and they're worried that it's going to flop because they've got all these people watching. It's going to be the first book that's not a bestseller. Every last author has that fear. I mean, Michelle Obama has that fear the day before her launch, you know what I'm saying? So that's a real thing. But the day of the launch, when I'm working my magic, when I'm making that bestseller happen, and it happens quick, like it can happen in a few hours or it can happen in 12 to 24 hours, often an international bestseller, like I'm working my magic and I'm, I'm like keeping in touch with the client and I'm like, look, you're climbing in numbers, look what people are saying. And they're like, like, it's just becoming real for them. That's like, that lights me up like nothing else. There's other stuff in the process that I really love. Like when somebody says, oh, I feel really good about that. Or this is a book I'm proud to put out in the world. Or, oh, finally, it's all coming together. I love that too. But the day of a launch, when I tell them that they're a best-selling author, that's my favorite part. <laughs> that's my I, favorite part. I can see why that's your favorite part. Mm -hmm. um, as you're talking about launch date, I'm remembering my various launch dates. Mm -hmm. And one thing that I can honestly say, and not just honestly say, like I don't speak honestly, but I, yeah. But the other thing that I can say is that looking back, I would have benefited greatly, not, not in a small way, not even in a insignificant way, and definitely just not in a significant way, no, greatly. If I was a part of the Best Sellers Guild then, because one thing about launch day, and yes, everything that Kathy just said about all those feelings, and I wonder if, and yeah, I did all the things, and my cover looks right, and it wasn't as bad as the first round of covers that I had, so it's much better. It doesn't look as trash, uh, and so I'm proud of everything. However, I felt I felt alone still, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and what I mean by that, <clears throat> when you are the first author, not just in your family, but in your community. And I mean, and when I say community, like nobody else in your phone mm -hmm. <laughs> has ever gone through this process. Yeah. And you're like, I don't know who to talk to. Cause you like, some of the ones that I spoke to didn't even think I could do it. Or they, or they tried to be positive but you felt that it wasn't probably like well I mean if that's what you want to do I mean go do it and you like that doesn't feel <laughs> wonderful at all to me and what do you do when the numbers start climbing like I would love to have had a person people that I could like tell minute by minute moment by moment like oh my god oh my god it's number 50 <laughs> Even, even the fact that it gets on the board, like I'm number 573. Right. Um, it was somebody, amazing. somebody got a book. <laughs> just anybody. anybody. Book. Yeah. Yeah, that yeah. would have just been really cool. I, I have to tell you, I, I don't know why. I don't know. Maybe I didn't specifically extend the invitation at some point because I just kind of thought like, yo, you were published before I ever met you, before we were, you know, standing on stage together. And I just kind of thought you got your own thing going on. But dude, like, 
come hang out with us in the Best Sellers Guild because I have to tell you in all these years, I've never heard anybody say that to me because inside the guild, that's like the number one thing because we all know. And so on launch day, we all support each other because those who have been there know what that feeling is. And they're like, oh, I'm supporting you. I'm going to share your link. I'm going to go get my copy, you know, cheer you on. And so they're rooting for you because they've been there. And then there's those, because we always encourage, you know, we'll remember you on launch day. So we encourage the newbies to also participate and support because that's a lot of reciprocity. If you're giving and sharing and supporting others, they're going to give and share and support you on your day. So get in the Best Sellers Guild. Like, <laughs> yeah, we, we are with you every step of the way. I know you got your own thing going on. You got your own formula. You do your own thing. That's all good. Like, just come hang out. We will support you every step of the way. You can, you have somebody to bounce it off of that they get it. We get it. The good, the bad, and everything. Totally. That's probably the biggest, the bouncing, the bouncing off of. That's huge. Mm. When you are an entrepreneur and or author, and mm -hmm. you have like idea after idea after idea, and you can literally feel, uh, what is it? It's the, not, you feel the drain that you are doing on people because you keep calling, you keep sending text messages. I want this cover. What about this cover? Did you read it? Did you read page one? What did you think? Does it flow well? And they're just kind of like over it. Like they're completely over it uh, and I know what that feels like too so just from the bouncing having a place where I'm not draining people intentionally or unintentionally is huge to me and I would love because of all these things that I'm thinking about now that you're in front of me are any of these reasons the reason why you started the best sellers guild yeah I mean it's for community solidly like from day one community um around the time that I met you I had been publishing books for seven years prior uh but it was only to my like inner circle clients who already knew about me and I was already doing marketing for them and I was like by the way do you have a book we need to make it a bestseller they say, oh, I haven't gotten around to it yet. And so I created a way to get a book out of them and make it. But I was only doing like one to five books a year. Ooh. At the point where we met was my first time speaking on stage and being available to larger groups of people to publish more books. The year after that, I published 156 books in one year. So I went from five a year to 156 a year. Okay. What does that feel like? <laughs> to go from that to that? Ooh, well, <laughs> it was a head spinner, I'll tell you what. It really was. And the Best Sellers Guild grew really fast because I started it about two months after you and I met at the event where we we're both speaking. My first speaking event, you were a well-seasoned speaker. I'm like, dang, I'm up against these kind of people. Wow, <laughs> I'm something because I'm, you know, I'm with Asa, you know? So it felt really good to be able to have that community. I tested out, like, I knew that I could do books for other people, but I didn't know if I teach them my formula, can they write? publish and market their book to bestseller guaranteed 100% success rate. I either do it for them or I teach them. And so the first round that I did that was in bestsellers guild almost immediately. And it was for free just because I was testing it out. And then, yeah, that next year, 156 books, like at the end of that year, I, I, I really couldn't believe that we did that many books. Because <laughs> we go from five to 156. Like, it's insane. Like 156. Like yeah, now, now you know, that's, that's fine. It's no big deal. I could do a lot more. But um, yeah, at that time, it was head spinning. I'll tell you Let's what. Just be honest. <laughs> Any business owner that has 156 clients, customers, anything, that's a huge deal. That's yeah. That's huge because we, yeah, that's a big thing. Uh, and I'm going to celebrate you in that, even though, you know, that was years ago, but still, you had 156. Yeah, that's, well, it's, you know, like a, it's nearly 700 now. Yeah, 
<laughs> Almost 700 best-selling authors. Yeah. That's right. Duh. Yeah. <laughs> 700. Yeah. What is, okay, has that seeped into your molecular structure? I want, I want more. I want more. No, I it's know you drop do. in the bucket. Are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> like, and, and, and here's the thing that is so awesome because I love helping people share their message. Like that's my joy. They share their message and they touch people. So not only like is my client the author super happy when they get feedback of like, well, oh, this really helped me, but like I played a little part in that. I helped get that message out there and reach that person, change their life, change the way they raise their kids, change how happy they are, change how much money they make, change who they share it with, because I helped one person publish their book, their book, make it a bestseller, reach people, right? Like, and I've done that for almost 700 people. I have a goal to do that for a million people before the day I leave this earth. So 700 is a drop in the bucket. <laughs> 700 is a drop in the bucket. You want a, a yeah. million? Yeah, I mean, I do it for them or I teach them how to do it. So it's really, it is actually doable because I mean- You some more rooms. <laughs> yeah, like- Okay. That, I'm just. That's what I love excited. to do. Truly, I'm very excited for yeah. you. Yeah. Um, and so yeah. now, switching gears just a tiny bit. Yeah. Um, again, thankfully, the Best Sellers Guild has allowed themselves to partner with us to allow the Icon Bootcamp to be a thing. Like it can actually be a thing now. Um, but it's i'm also aware that for those who are watching this they may not even understand what the icon boot camp is why i decided to produce it and present it so the icon boot camp the reason why i started it is because i saw a gap and the gap was that i was having these premium offers previous premium services for individuals to make their next million. I mean, you guys heard in my icon statement, what I call my icon money statement, that I do what? I catapult audacious entrepreneurs towards their next million. So working with individuals where that's a reality. But here's the thing. Every entrepreneur, I don't care what business they're in, they always remember when they weren't at the place they are now. And I am not and the exception to that, I always remember where I was. Someone had to come get me from where I was. Uh, Kathy and I share a little bit of that. Uh, Lisa Nichols, I'm, I say that name often because she was the person that came and got me. I had to go to San Diego for her to come and get me, but she came and got me. So where was I? And then, okay, and then looking back, there are in entrepreneurs that have yet to make a hundred thousand dollars in their business <clears throat> and i understand that a hundred thousand dollars in your business is a very low level of living as far as things you can purchase when you are solely reliant on that one business so if you if you don't have a job or you want your business to uh, employ you full time that six figures for the year is paramount that you do quicker, sooner, faster. Why? Because you just need money to live. Like bottom line up front, you need money to live and a six figure business will at least start that process because guess what? If you're making $8,333 every single month in your business, $8,333 is not going to you, the CEO. It's not, it's going to the business and then it, that trickle down effect because expenses are real, taxes are real, savings are real, profits are real, contractors are real, like all the things, okay? So that's why I'm like, you know what? I need to present something so that individuals know what to do at that level besides motivation, besides inspiration, besides making you feel like, you know what you need? You need yet another conference. No, you don't need a conference. You need like, a couple of action steps to get you going. So that's what the Icon Bootcamp is available. And so with that being said, Kathy, I would love to know, um, is there any one reason why uh, you, the Best Sellers Guild, decided to say yes to 
the upliftment of the ICON bootcamp? Well, hell yes. <laughs> so I love that you said action steps because we're all about action. I do uh, an action Tuesday uh, every week because we're all about action and writing. It's free. Anybody can participate. But the action, because you're right, like you don't need another conference. You don't need another course. You don't need another lesson. You need to implement what you already know, and you need some steps into be in action. So absolutely, like we are a small part of the businesses that you're speaking of, you know, doing a book, standing out in the crowd um, as an authority, being a best-selling author can really establish what you're about, but you still have to have a business. Like whether you're selling books as a goal or a course or coaching or whatever you're building, you have to have a business. And so the fundamentals of what you teach and what you've always taught people, like it's so much more than hype and um, motivational positive speaking. Like you need that. You do. You absolutely need that because you can't fit a 32 ounce business into an eight ounce cup. You got to have the capacity. But it's those action steps that are everything. So for me, for our choice to participate in this event, it's really the action steps that bring people's business together and get them into action to that first hundred thousand and onto their million. Thank you for that. Thank yeah. you. And now that we're wrapping this up uh, because you have a million authors to support, and I don't want to take you from that. Um, I do publicly desire to say thank you so much for allowing us to reach more people with the Icon Bootcamp, to support them. Um, I wish that I had free, because at this moment, the Icon boot, Bootcamp is not a cost to attend. And I wish that I had things when I first started out, when I was 22, goodness, um, I was 22 and I first became an entrepreneur. And when I mean entrepreneur, I mean like actually like filing uh, articles of incorporation with the Secretary of State's office, like that type of business. I've been making money as an entrepreneur since I was nine, but actually like in business since I was 22, I wish I would have had these things. I thought that they were available and they weren't. Uh, but times have changed. And so I definitely want to make sure that people have it. So thank you for being a, a avenue that will make that a reality for me, for us, for them. And for those of you who have not yet went to bestsellersguild.com, I don't know why you haven't gone to bestsellersguild.com. Kathy literally just told you, they have Action Tuesday. So if you're somebody like, yeah, all the people over there, all they want is your money. All they want is uh, to hype you up. No, she just said community around your book, community around bouncing ideas off, which is huge when you are an author. I don't care if it's book number one, book number, I don't care. You need that kind of support. And then launch day, and then launch day. Like let's get real about launch day. And then also again, action step Tuesday. Like action step Tuesday, that's a big thing for me. Um, being in a community where actions are taken and discussed and there's no Wizard of Oz like behind the veil type of thing. So thank you so much for saying yes to this. Um, I would love to support you in the future as well. Um, and as always, everyone, I am Asa Laveau, dreams and radical blessings.